Hi, my name is Michael, and welcome to today's lesson, Installing COP SSH and CW RSync Server. This is the second of five lessons that will teach you how to set up a successful RSync backup. By the end of this lesson, you will have a working RSync server ready to receive data. You always set up the RSync server before the RSync client, so let's begin. You can use any computer with Windows Server 2000 or later installed. First, install the following two programs, COP SSH and CW RSync Server. Both of these programs are available online. Just click the RSync tab on the Backup Assist download page. It is important to mention at this point that we strongly advise against the use of Microsoft's range of SBS servers as your RSync server. These servers are usually domain controllers and do not allow for local admin accounts. Using any other server, or operating system for that matter, should be fine. Once you've chosen your machine and downloaded the RSync programs, install CWRSync by double-clicking the CWRSync server 4.1.0 installer.exe. Click Next. I agree. Next. At this point, you will be presented with the pop-up you see on the screen. Leave account as SVC CW RSync, but change the password to something you'll remember. Click Install to finish installing CW RSync. Once the installation is complete, click Close. Next, we need to install COP SSH. Double click the COP SSH 4.1.0 installer.exe. Click Next. I agree. Next. Leave this and most other settings as their default settings. At this point, you will be presented with the pop up you see on the screen. Leave account as SVC COP SSH, but change the password to something you'll remember. Click Install to finish installing COP SSH. Before the process completes, you'll see a pop up reminding you that you need to use the COP SSH control panel for user activation. Click OK. Once the installation is complete, Click Close. So it's that simple. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on installing COP SSH and CW RSync server. In the next lesson, we'll teach you how to activate a user within COP SSH. Bye for now.